Chuckers, whose birthday is on March 2nd? Dr. Seuss. Yes. Should we draw a cat in a hat? Yeah. Alright, dude, you got your marker? Yep. Alright, cool. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. But then we're just going to do his head and his yeah. hat and his bow. Yeah. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to use 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, letter, and we're using two sheets because we're using a Sharpie. We don't want it to get onto the table, right? Yep. And we're going to start with our paper. Horizontal. Vertical. Vertical. Close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other way. Alright, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do his eyes right in the middle of the paper because we want enough room for his hat up here, his neck, and his bow down at the bottom. Okay. Right in the middle of our paper. And we're going to put them right next to each other. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's put the little pupils in there. So we're going to do little circles for his pupils. And then we're going to do the wrinkles on his eyes. So we're going to do one up here. So it kind of turns it into a six almost, his eye. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come over here. We'll do another one on this side. And then now one down here at the bottom. Good. Okay, now let's, let's do his eyebrows. So we're going to come up here. We're going to do a little funny line right above his eye. Looks like an eyebrow. So it's almost like a backward seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then we're going to do another one on this side. Okay, now let's do his nose. So we're going to do a little oval sideways, sideways oval. And then we can do a little shading on the left side. And then let's do a small line right down the middle, right, right down below his nose. <laughs> okay, now let's do his forehead or the side of his head. We're going to come up here. We're going to draw a curved line and it comes down and it stops right at the bottom of his eyes. See, his, see the bottom of his eyes right there? Mm -hmm. Good. Now we're going to come out and then curl around and then this is going to turn into a smile. And we want to stop our smile just past his left eye. Good. And then kind of curl up over here. So on this side. So continue this line and come up just a little bit and end just to the left of his left eye. Yeah, good job. Now let's put a little cheek in there. So this is going to be an S line. Good. Now let's do his bottom lip. So we're going to come straight down from this line right here. Put a lip. Got it? Good job. Okay, and then we'll come down and we can do the rest of his chin. Good. Now let's come over here. We'll do his ear. So okay. his ear is going to be uh, directly to the left of these eyes. So we're going to go straight out this way and we're going to go just past his mouth. So we're going to be right over here and we're going to do, we're going to do an S line. Like that. Okay. And then we'll do the bottom of his ear. So we'll come back on the bottom side like that. Go. Good job. Okay, let's do the inside of his ear. Do a line, curved line, and we're gonna do a zigzag and make it look like he's got hair in his ears, huh? <laughs> Gross. And then fill it in. Well, there's a lot of cool shading yeah. on the cat in the hat. <laughs> there's a lot of cool shading. We're gonna use our marker to do the shading, okay? Yeah. So let's do the top of his hat or the bottom of his hat, but the top of his head. So we're going to come out of the middle of his ear and we're going to come over the top of his eyebrows. And then we're going to curl back in like this. 
Good job. Then we'll do the back of his hat down here. So we want to imagine that line going through his ear, coming out the other side, and then curling back in. Nice. Good job. Hey, let's do the back of his head. So this is a zigzag. We're going to do three zigzags, okay? okay? So we'll come out of the bottom of his ear. We're going to do one, two, three. And then we'll curl in. Good. And then we're going to curl back down. And then do another zigzag up. And then back down. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's all right. Okay, and then we'll bring this line. We'll bring this line a little further down. You can even go a little further with both these lines. So he has a long neck. Good job. We did it. Hey, should we do his hat? Yeah. All right. So we're going to curl back around here, and we're going to add some thickness to this, to the brim of his hat. Okay, and then we'll imagine that going through his ear, coming out over here. And we're gonna run parallel with the other line that we drew. And we'll come back down and into that line. Nice, good job. I hope we're gonna have room. Maybe we'll have to extend it oh, yeah. to get his hat on there. So we're gonna, we're gonna start right here where his forehead comes into his hat, and we're gonna curl up. Actually, maybe we should start on the back side. Let's start back here because that's kind of one line. So we're going to come up from his ear, curl around, and we'll come up. I think I might just leave it, see if we can fit it all in there. So I'm going to curl, bring this, curl around. Good, and then we'll come back over here. Okay, we just taped a little extra paper on the top of yours, right? Mm -hmm. So you can fit your hat in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna curl this back down. Oh, you actually fit it in there. Good job, man. <laughs> okay, so I extended this out and I curled it around so this part of his hat goes out past this line. Oh. Good. Okay, and then we'll come, we'll put a little wrinkle right here. And we're going to do another wrinkle. And then this one's going to pop back out and curl in. Nice. This one is a little tricky, even though he seems pretty easy, huh? Mm -hmm. well, let's put the stripes in there for his hat. So this one's going to start over here. And we're going to do contour lines so that his hat looks round, right? Yes. And then we're going to come down a little further and curl up to the wrinkles. And then we'll, we'll skip down here. We'll put in another one. And then the last contour line right here, that. Awesome. It totally looks like him, huh? Mm -hmm. We're almost done. Let's put his bow in there and then we'll do some shading, okay? Okay. So we're going to do a little, we're going to do almost a complete circle right here in the middle of his neck. Okay. And then we're going to come out on this side. And we'll go out on this side too. Okay, let's come back here and then we'll curl around. We'll come down. And we're going to finish the bottom part of this bow. Let's actually, let's go back over here. This will help us get back to where we need to be. So we'll put a little U shape. And this can curl in. A little U shape. To the bottom of the knot on his bow. Then we're going to come back over here and we'll finish the bottom of this bow. 
come over here, curl around, and then we'll come back up. Good. Now let's do this side. Cur curl around, down, and then back into the knot. And this side got a little longer than this side, huh? Mm -hmm. That's okay. I like yours. You did a great job. Okay, now let's put a wrinkle in the bow. And then we'll do a wrinkle on this side. Okay, and then let's do the bottom of his bow. So we're gonna bring two lines out. And they come out like that. Good. Let's scoot your paper up just a little bit. And then we're going to finish the bottom. So this side will come around. And then this side will come back in. Awesome. We did it, man. Mm -hmm. We finished him. Okay, we just need to do a little more shading, all right? Okay. So the cat in the hat, with Dr. Seuss, and a lot of his characters, he does the shading with the pen not with like color. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do a lot of different lines to make that shading. So let's start with the bottom of his neck and let's just do some zigzags that go up, down. We'll do them really close together and long. And I didn't go all the way across, came down, and then I'm gonna put a line right here. And then let's fill this in. So that's kind of like his ear, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? I forgot. Let's put his whiskers on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then he'll really look like a cat. Okay, we're going to do one out like this. And then another one down. And then let's put two dots there. And then let's do another one on this side. And another one and down and then we can do a couple dots here also there we go now it looks like cat and hat yeah <laughs> all right let's do some more shading so we're gonna come back up here and we'll do some shading on the back of his hat so right here just kind of fill it in and then we'll put a couple lines over here on this side for some shading under that side of his hat. Then let's do some zigzags right in front of his ear. So we're going to go back, forth, and you can fill in some of those zigzags. And then we'll do another zigzag right by his ear. And we'll come down here and we're going to fan this out. So watch me we'll go down and see how I'm kind of fanning down his head. Mm -hmm. Some more. Like that. Awesome. So get these, the little uh, zigzags right here on this side. You can get them closer right here to the side of his hair. See how you got a little space? Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. And you can also fill in this little space right here under his ear. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to put a couple more little lines right there for his eyebrows. Good. And then we'll come up here and we can do some shading on his hat. So I'm going to do three lines. All right, and then we're going to skip up here, and we'll do a couple more on this stripe. So we'll do a line, and we can do some zigzags. Okay, and then we'll come up here, do a couple more. Okay, and we'll come up here, do another one. This one could even be just a Z, huh? Mm -hmm. And we'll do some more up here. Awesome.
Awesome. Okay, let's do a couple little hairs popping out of his hat. <laughs> we did it, man. Okay, should we color him? Yeah. It's going to be pretty easy. All we need to do is color the red stripes and his red bow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, good job! You did awesome, man. The coloring was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was just red. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I really like about Dr. Seuss characters is that we've been doing shading with the color, right? Mm -hmm. We've been adding uh, darker color to when we want to go into the shadow and then lighter colors when we want to uh, show a highlight. Mm -hmm. But with Dr. Seuss characters, he uses the marker or the lines to shade. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was different, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't too hard though, was it? It wasn't. You had fun still? Yes. Promise? Yes. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Cat in the Hat with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do this every day, Monday through Friday, don't yeah. we? Yes. We yeah. had a lot of fun? Yep. Promise? Yep. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.